Hello and welcome to the channel. Presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Al RG Atikwa Bubaka Nakom called to play. The former vice president has recruited five INEC ad hoc staff to testify against Tinubu. No be small something. No need for long talk. Let's talk details. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Presidential poll dispute. Five INEC ad hoc staff to testify against Tinubu. Five ad hoc staff members of the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC have been okay to testify as special witnesses in the petition that a former vice president and candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Al RG Atikwa Bubakar, filed to challenge the outcome of the 2023 presidential election. The high-neck Haddock staff members who participated in the conduct of the disputed presidential election were subpoenaed to appear before the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC. Atiku, who came second in the presidential contest that held on February 25th, or in the joint petition he filed with his party, alleged that the election was rigged in favor of President Bola Tinubu of the Rolling Hall Progressives Congress, APC. The former vice president in a 66-page petition accused the Electoral Commission of installing a third-party device he said was used to intercept and switch results of the presidential election in favor of the APC on its candidate, Bola Tinubu. He further alleged that INEC had prior to the election redeployed its in-house ICT expert, Mr. Shi Dinoafo, and replaced him with an IT consultant that helped it to install the third-party mechanism. According to Atiku, the said IT consultant, Mr. Suleiman Farouk, ensured that the device intermediated between the bimodal voter accreditation system, BVAS, and the IREF portal, known as Device Management System, DMS. It told the court that the DMS was the software that allowed INEX IT security consultant, Mr. Farouk, to remotely control monitor and filter data that was transmitted from the Beavers devices to the electronic collation system on the HiRef platform. The first respondent, INEC, engaged an appointee of the second respondent, Tinubu, to man and oversee the sensitive ICT department of the first respondent for the purpose of the election. The petitioners contend and shall lead evidence to show that contrary to the original design of the Beavers machine, to upload data directly to the electronic collation system on the IREF portal, the first respondent contrived and installed an intervening third-party device, device management system, which, in its ordinary usage, is meant to secure and administer the first respondent's technological ecosystem for the elections, but as it relates to the presidential election, was used to intercept the results, quarantine and wear our same, and filtered them before releasing same to the IREF portal. The first respondent used the said device management system to manipulate the election results in favor of the second and third respondent. The petitioner state and shall lead expert evidence to show the critical components of the first respondent's information and communications technology, ICT, including but not limited to the Beavers, which is an Android device manufactured by Emperor Technologies China and supplied to the first respondent by Activate Nigeria Limited, the petitioners are dead. Consequently, at the resumed proceedings in the petition on Wednesday, lead counsel for the petitioners, Chief Chris Oshie, son, told the court that his client had subpoenaed five INEC ADOC staff members that were part of the conduct of the election to appear as witnesses and to also tender sensitive materials and evidence. He added that out of the five witnesses, three of them were in court. However, immediately the first subpoenaed ad hoc staff was called into the courtroom and he mounted the witness box. Lead counsel for the INEC, Mr. Abubakar Mahmoud son, raised an objection. INEC's lawyer, Mahmoud son, told the court that he was only served with statements of the witnesses a few minutes before the proceedings commenced, 
insisting that he would need time to go through the documents to be able to effectively cross-examine the witnesses. Besides, INEC's lawyer said there was also the need for him to go back to the commission to verify and confirm the identities of the witnesses so as to ascertain if they indeed served as ad hoc staff during the election. Both Chief Akin Olujin Mi San, who appeared for President Tinubu, as well as counsel for the APC, Prince Latif Agbemi San, aligned themselves with the position of INEC. The respondents maintained that they would need time to study the statement of the witnesses that were served on them by the petitioners. Even though Justice Arunat Samani led five-member panel initially opted for a 30-minute stand-down to allow the respondents to study the statements, however, it subsequently deferred further proceedings in the matter till Thursday to enable INEX counsel to conduct his internal inquiry. Earlier in the proceeding, counsel for the petitioners tendered certified copies of results of the presidential election from 10 local government areas of Kogi State, even as he presented the chairman of the PDP in Anambra State, Mr. Undu B.C. Nwobu, to testify as the 11th witness in the matter. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Nwobu told the court that he served as state coalition officer for the PDP during the election, adding that in about 30 polling units that he visited, Results of the election were not uploaded to INEX IREF portal in real time. The witness told the court that he was forced to sign the results of the election by INEC officials that threatened that they would not give him a copy unless he signed. According to him, every effort made to upload the results to the IREF portal failed. It was at the world level that magic started happening, the witness stated adding that if not for his swift intervention, some INEC officials would have been manhandled by angry electorates. While being cross-examined by APC's lawyer, Fagbemi Son, the witness said he wrote a letter after the election to complain about all the anomalies he observed, as well as the manifest non-compliance with the Electoral Act. My complaint was not about the beavers, but that results were not uploaded to the IREF portal, as we were promised extensively by the INEC chairman. The witness added, Atiku is among other reliefs, praying for the court to declare that he was the valid winner of the presidential election, even as he applied for the withdrawal of the certificate of return that was issued to President Tinubu by neck. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.